Hello guys, it's Dave from FreeTutorials.com. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to connect PHP to MySQL and check if it's working. Okay, first of all, you want to start off with your PHP tags. Okay, so add them in there. Okay, and now you want to put your host, username, password, and database name into variables. Okay, so how to do this? is basically type the following host so the database host would equal and this is where you place your host um, DB for your host like maybe local host um, it could be some of GoDaddy like I'll have a long word dot GoDaddy dot net um, local host if you're hosting it yourself or find out the location of the database host okay so you put your database host in the top there next you'll need your, your database username which you use to connect database username okay and then you place db username here okay also what I forgot is just add this at right at the end of the lines Sorry about that. Okay. So now you've got the the location of the host. You've got the username to log in. Now you'll need the password. So the db underscore pass equals password here. And last of all, your database name. Okay. So db underscore name, which will equal db name here right now you've got all the variables for finding your host logging in and selecting the db name now you just need to put that into action with um, an actual connection string okay to do this type the following so connect okay and then you in here the first thing you'd put is the host so it knows where it is so you put the top variable which you put here into here so the db underscore host will go on first and then separate it with a comma okay and now you need to use a name so db sorry db underscore username Then your password db underscore pass. Okay, so what we've actually done here, we've made a string so it connects to the MySQL database. So MySQL underscore connect, then you put the db host, the username, and the password. So that should connect to your database. If to find out if it doesn't or if you do encounter any problems what you need to do is enter a command which will basically tell you any errors if it's unsuccessful so what, how you do this is type or die and then you've got a little string here which basically you put anything you want but what I'm going to put is could not connect to my SQL okay really simple so if that string does not work it doesn't find a host or the username and password does not work I'll say could not connect to my SQL. Okay, and there'll be now I'm gonna enter the next string, which is basically uh selecting the database name. So the database name um would go as follows MySQL underscore select underscore db. Okay, so that'll be the command line. And now what you put in is a db underscore name. Okay, so it's simple as that. Also, with this as well, you will need to put, if it doesn't work, show and error. Just so you know, you can fault find very easy. And it's really easy to fix as well. No database. Okay, so now you've got a PHP file which connects to your database and verifies that you can connect and it can connect to the database name the table inside it 
Okay. So next of all, what we're going to move on to is we're going to make a new one, uh, which is basically going to be the index, which is going to be like your main page. And what this is going to do, I'm going to show you, is it's going to include the connect to MySQL file, and if it works, it's going to output the success string. Okay, so how you do this is you start your your, your PHP string again. Okay, I'll just save this so the colours stand out better for you. Index, and then just select PHP. Yeah. Okay, right. So the first line which you're going to put in, you need to connect to the file. So when you up both load, upload both of these in the same directory, you want the index to include them connect to a MySQL file. Okay. So how we do this is require it. Require connect underscore to underscore MySQL. Okay, so that'll basically connect to the other file which connects to the database. So now within the index file, anything, any requests from the MySQL will work if this is all working as well. So it's not, you can put them both on one page, but you'll just have the database in every page. It's, it's not nice really. Just keep it plain and simple. Um, okay, so require connect to mysql.php. If it's successful, echo our command, which will basically say, let's have a look. We'll put it in a header. Okay, very really simple. Okay, so now it's I've got the echo out success in sorry database connection happy coding. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this to the test and upload it. If there's no success, uh the script would have died before this message. If you don't see this message it means it hasn't got to it so basically either you've renamed this wrong it's not the same as the file name or you'll have a problem with your, your database connect okay let's have a look and I'll upload it now okay so I've uploaded them and now I'm going to test it I put my details in and now it's success in database connection, happy coding. So it's working perfectly, uh, it's connecting, and from that point on, the world is your oyster. Uh, you, can, you can add a lot of different types of coding and retrieving MySQL queries. Um, from, from this point on, really, you're 20% there, wherever you, you want to go. Um, okay, so thanks for watching uh, I hope it was helpful um, and please subscribe thumbs up if you found it helpful okay cheers